Hello, this is Gio, and we got a Canon printer here that needs some more black ink. And uh, this one happens to be a uh, PICMA uh, Canon MG6620. And I will show you how to change that ink today. So the first step is just to turn it on. So we just push the button and let it cycle through its cycle there and you'll see a little display now this is touch screen scan cloud etc and so what we're gonna do is go to setup oops I'm not very good with this touch screen there we go hold on well let's hit setup there so zooming into the display you see a, a variety of menu options and what we're gonna do is just go down to this one estimate ink level display and current estimate ink level so we're gonna hit that and you can see that most of them are kinda of low but especially the larger packet of black it has a little X right there meaning that it needs to be replaced so we're gonna hit this uh, ink number here and this tells you kinda of what to purchase and so you could see the different uh, numbers here BK, CM, yellow uh, but the PG BK is uh, 250. Uh, the other ones are 251. So it's primarily a size issue, but be clear about what you want to purchase uh, to replace uh, what you have. And so I followed the directions, and I did get the uh, the Picma Picma brand 250 black. Now going back to the uh, menu display, he has a couple of other options like print number. You could see. Um, print the in ink number, you could uh, print that out, no, or estimate ink levels, and that brings you back to the original um, menu, and then you just hit this back display to get to the front again. So it's pretty easy to replace the cartridge. All you have to do is lift up on the center aisle, and right there is where all the cartridges go in, and in just a second it'll move right there and the one that's blinking needs to be replaced the other ones still have sufficient ink so they don't blink okay now I'm doing this with one hand here is the replacement cartridge and you can see it's basically the same size as the one being replaced first thing you do is just pull off this little piece and I will put the camera down to re remove this plastic covering and that's what it looks like. Secondly, you want to get rid of this orange uh, little protective covering here. I'll try to do it with one hand. And there we go. Just kind of pop it off like that. And it will expose this end here is what uh, touches. This is where the ink is dispensed. And so to re remove the ink, all you have to do is push in on this little tab. Each one of these have a tab and we just push in and it just pops right out just like that and you can see that's the old one it actually feels a little bit lighter and then you just take the new one and kind of slip it in like that and just like that and then you just push in and the light should go on again there it is it's, it's displaying it as full and so move that aside and then shut the cover and it should go through a process to uh, get the ink all prepared. And there you have it. It's all done and should be ready for printing. So let's go back to that original display here, estimate quantity, and you can see it's completely full. So we're good to go, and I hope this video helped you out. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.